Hi, I'm working on a 2005 Polaris Sportsman 500 high output and changing the starter solenoid from the factory unit to a Rix Electronics and they call it a direct replacement. It's not. I'll show you the quick issues and how to overcome them. So first off, uh, the issue is the factory has two studs down here. And the Rick's replacement unit for this Polaris only has a single uh, red wire uh, coming out of it. Um, you can kind of see it down, down here. There's only a, a single red wire. There's not two studs. So, um, yeah, what do you do with the extra wire, right? Well, here's what we do. And uh, so on the factory Polaris, there's a uh, white with a red tracer and then there's a brown or black um, wire. So cut the at factory ends off because they won't work with the Rick's replacement unit. On the white wire, I put a uh, some heat shrink and, sorry, I try to focus on the right thing here. I put some heat shrink and I put a bullet connector and that hooked to the red wire that goes to the Rick's unit. So that's your energy. The black wire, I put a uh, like a release spade, crimp that on to the factory, again cutting off the factory bullet, um, put on a new end, and ran that to a ground uh, on the solenoid mount. So pretty straightforward. You know, the white one, cut it off, goes to the red on the new solenoid. The black-brown, I ran a new piece of wire and grounded it to the mount. Um, the only other issue that you're going to run into is that the studs for the cables on the Rix unit are considerably shorter than what are on the factory unit. Um, so to remedy that one, I just took the inner nut, usually is a double nut on it. I took this inner nut off, stacked my wires on, and then put it back together. It's just kind of strange. I don't know if they're in the electronics business why they did such short studs, but they did. Um, and that's how you fix it. And if I turn the key, it works. So that's how you overcome the, what they call direct replacement Rick's solenoid. Thanks a lot.